What's up, you guys? It's time to finally finish Mega Man Legacy Collection 1 with Mega Man 6. I did 1 through 5, some of them years ago. But it is time for the one that I'm pretty sure I rented as a kid, and the one that gets the most hated on of the original six games for reasons I don't really understand because it's awesome. Maybe not the best, but it's awesome. I think I like this one better than 4. Already the music's kicking butt as you do. Mr. X has been manipulating Dr. Wily, but now I no longer need Dr. Wily's help. Come get me, Mega Man. Eh, we'll just see about that. Well, this isn't Star Fox. I mean, have you heard the Mega Man voice acting? <laughs> it's... I think Star Fox one-ups it. Love that last little bit to the title music, but let's get going before the demo. Blizzard, Wind, Flame, Plant, Tomahawk, Yamato, Knight, and Centaur Man. We are going to start with Flame Man to speed things up here. As you do. Did you know that Flame Man is the master of flame? Yes! This is awesome! Feels good to play an action game with good music. I think overall the music of this game is better than five. And even some of the tracks in four, but four does have some really good ones, though. Obviously, nothing is quite like two's music, or three for that matter. But this one definitely has. What's cool about the boss order of this game is you get three of the game's best songs back to back. These things are weird, too. These little push floats. Musically, we got elements of Fireman from Mega Man 1. I don't know what that is, exactly. But yeah, we got all the stuff. Slide, charge. The new thing here is the rush abilities combine onto Mega Man, creating Jet Mega Man and Power Mega Man. What? Get out of here. I guess the complaint at the time was it's like the same old tired formula with not really much new. But dude, graphically for the NES, this is pretty sweet. You got these tubs firing, like this is all you need. Write a good soundtrack, design a pretty decent stage. That's another thing, the stage design here, it all flows. Which means it's good. Like there's not really a section where you're like, oh crap, not this. You just jump and shoot along. I want this, this actually is tricky. I don't know the best way to get this one though. I'm not good with these enemies. What? <laughs> Maybe I should have saved that energy. I do have the rewind feature, but I want to try to not abuse it. Because, quite frankly, my Mega Man 1 and 2 videos are unwatchable because of it. I got better as I went along. 4, 5, and hopefully this one. Ugh. I started playing a little bit smoother. Which is interesting, because those are the three that people talk about the least. But we made it! I'm probably gonna take the death here. I doubt I could beat this guy. I watched a long play and it was more like a speed run. The guy didn't take any damage and flew through these things. Yeah, this attack... I think this is what inspired his... in Smash Bros. Yeah, we'll just take the death. I think that's his down smash, the flames jutting out out of the ground. There's spacing, like, in front of him and in the middle, but I can't seem to time it right. There we go. I like the one, two, three. That's easy to dodge, but when he does that... Yeah, 
Yeah, keep doing this. I guess I should be charging at the same time. But that's too many buttons to hold. No, I don't know what. We're just getting into things here, that's all. Oh, crap. I did beat this game prior to starting this up, so hopefully I got my practice in. It doesn't really look like it, taking these hits. There we go. Yeah, I think if you're in the right spot to begin with, you could just stand still. Crap. I don't know. One more hit. No, nothing. Well Not again. Getting my rhythm thrown off. Just... Okay. <laughs> I told you I wasn't going to rewind. Hopefully that's all we're going to do. What a way to cheese the boss. It's all good. We're just getting started. Dusting off the clonk. Yeah, I like that. Picture of Mega Man there. Rush power adapter. So there we go. That's our first new thing. And this weapon turns out is like this game's best weapon. Kind of like Mega Man X. You used fire everywhere if you wanted to fly through it. So fire is good against Blizzard. This little Santa Claus robot on skis. This song's not so bad. I think I might like it better than Flame Man. But the next one is the best in the game, I think. Yeah, fire melts that stuff if I cared about the one -off. Okay, we're good. This isn't really important. I think it's just energy up on this. Yeah. I'll take it, though. I love these games, dude. I can't wait to buy the second one. Not really for 7 and 8 so much, although I will play those. But I want to play 9 and 10. Because people talk 9 up so highly. Oh, here we go. Definitely grab this. Like, Mega Man 2 is the fan favorite musically and everything else. Some say it's overrated, but I don't know. Oh, wait, I have the... Well, whatever, let's just go. You can break those big things with the power adapter that I got. Yeah, see, look, fire makes quick work of even the fat chunks. Oh, here we go. So this was 93, and in North America, I think it didn't come till 94. But here we go, this is the, uh... The power adapter up here. I like that part of the music. But yeah, it's quick to charge up and you do like a big punch thing. And it's needed on some things. Kind of tricky though. Like with any of these games, it's just practice. Finding what weapon best suits the situation. Remember that learning curve? The first time you learn to use things other than the Mega Buster? Mega Man X was my entry point to all the Mega Mans. Aside from this game, which I did rent, but I can't remember the exact timeline of events there. I'll tell you the exact reason when we get to it, why I think... Like, I really don't remember this too well. But the box art of this game stands out to me as the one that I rented once. And there's a very specific weapon in this game that rings a bell, but that's all I remember. Oh, sweet. Yeah, I think difficulty-wise, this one's not too bad. Was it four or five that dropped extra lives like candy? One of them got really easy, I remember. Ugh. I gotta get off of that L trigger. Cause nine and ten aren't gonna have it. You dumb dope. Let's do it. Oh wait, what's the weakness? It would be fire. Well, let's... 
get a couple buster shots in anyway because this guy's not too he would be a good first one to go to yeah this pattern's not too bad oops i don't know we got three of these let's use them let's not be stupid and re rely on rewinding or something yeah i'm low on this weapon anyway so we gotta do it Oh, I timed that wrong. Yeah, nothing to it. Could have been better, but... Enjoyable nonetheless. I love Mega Man, dude. I don't know, it's just a formula that's... infinitely fun. It can work any time. You get... attack. Oh, Blizzard attack, yeah. Kind of a weird angle on this one, but... That is Plant Man's weakness, and this is the best song in the game to me. And followed by this, we're going to Tomahawk Man, who also might be the best song in the game. It's hard to choose. But this guy's a flower fancier. And yeah, his music's awesome. I heard a good arrangement of it, too. Wasting my weapon. Well, now I need this stuff. Oh, no. Yeah, you can't slide as Power Mega Man, so... I learned that the hard way my first time through this. And as Jet Mega Man, which we will get soon, I think in this stage, actually after beating the boss. You can't charge your buster. Hey, Flip Top. Or is his name Eddie? I saw two things. Oh wait, here we go. Big stage mini boss. Fire Blast. Or Flame Blast, whatever it is. I think it's just five shots, man. Oh, I was too slow. But yeah, there was a remix of this song. Somebody arranged it with Mega Man X instrumentation. And it sounds like Crystal Snail from Mega Man X 2. And a little bit of Bubble Crab in the background. And it's just awesome. Oh, here we go. I definitely need this. It's just a shame that the sound effects overwrite the music. Final stretch. These springs are a little bit tricky. It took me a while. You gotta hold the jump button and then you will always do the big jump. I thought you had to press it at an exact moment. Uh, these, I think, only respond to the buster. This is a cool mechanic, too. I mean, look at the background. This is the NES. And it almost looks like Sting Chameleon background. I see you're nicely positioned there, sir. I like this, too. What a nice touch. Making the flowers life pickups. It's the little things, man. And that's why we play Mega Man. Because there really is not a bad moment for revisiting an NES classic. Mega Man has you covered. 1 through 6, 9 and 10 as well. I know less about 7 and 8. Because they're Super Nintendo. Wait, was 8 Super Nintendo? Anyway, we made it! This guy seems tough at first, but he's really not too bad. But this is one of those weapons that you burn through the ammo really fast. 
This game has one of those ones that has an exact amount to kill the boss, too. But yeah, just stay within reach of them. Whoops, wait, hang on. There we go, that's the rhythm. Get close, jump, release, stick close to them, jump. If you get too far, you won't jump over the leaf shield or the plant shield. It's, it's wood, man. There we go, we got the rhythm. This is, this is good stuff. Yeah! What do you know about my ice blue diaper? I don't know why it always looks like a diaper to me. It's robot pants. Calling it a diaper. That's the thing too. All the mans, the robot masters, everybody's got these Mega Man feet. And they're awesome. Rush Jet, yeah. I don't know, there's just something about looking at the robot master artwork and their feet. <laughs> it's so stupid. Tomahawk man! Say what you want about, uh, you know, cultural things. But he's a master of Tomahawk, and his music is awesome. Oh, and these guys too! It looks like the mini game from Kirby's Adventure. Look at that, it pays to punch. I think it's a punch. Here we go, back to the cool loop. Oh wait, no, we passed it already. It's coming back though. Here it comes, get ready. Oh wait, not yet. I don't even know the song that I say is awesome. These things are weak to flame as well. Just a couple shots. This is the good part of the music right here. I just like the tempo of it too. Flip top, you amazing little thing. I would have liked weapon energy, actually. Oh, here we go. Rush Jet. Look at that sun in the background. I'll play the thing. But I'm going to skip this every time from here forward, just because it takes a while. Look at that sun, dude. It's 8-bit goodness. Like, what better soundtrack to jetpacking across the sunset do you need? This is on the cover artwork, this jet thing. Yeah, what do I need? Oh, definitely top this off. That's something to talk about, too. How you have to select the weapon you want to refill. That's not always the case. There's a... The energy balancer was introduced in this game. Look at that, dude. Just dropping... Fire bombs on everything. Here we go. This is a unique thing. Two secrets to be found. Let's get the energy balancer first by going up here. This is tricky, though. This box you have to break. I think you can only do it from the ladder. What? No. There we go. Proto Man! There it is! That's his only appearance in this game, but now we have the energy balancer, so you don't have to select what weapon you want to refill. It will just naturally go, I think, lowest to highest. But now we gotta go backwards. When do you do this in Mega Man? At least back in these early ones. And jetpack across the bottom. Because now, the next thing is Beat. Remember, was it Mega Man 5 that introduced Beat? We gotta collect his parts again. And in order to do that in this game, there are certain stages that have two exits. Basically, two boss doors. And you gotta find the right one to get the Beat part. So this is the way to go 
Basically, all the remaining stages except for Windman are beat stages. Uh, you could jetpack down to that, but I don't need it. So let's do it. Uh, where are we here? That's right. I just forgot whose stage we were in. I don't know, man, but it's awesome. This guy's awesome, too. He throws his tomahawk, and he also does that, which is usually easy to dodge. Why am I jumping right into him? Oh, hey, hey now. I don't trust it. I'm out of plant bomber, too. Man, I, ha I had such a better fight my first time. He's not that tough. I was just tanking all his hits. Definitely cool, though. Oh, that's another thing to talk about. There was a contest associated with this game that expired in, like, 92 or something. And people from all over the world... There we go. B, B parts. Yeah, you basically had to draw your own robot master and enter it in a contest. And... I think... Some of these are, like, fan creations, maybe? But Yamato Man, this is the third best music in the game, in my opinion. I don't think this is the way to the secret exit, but it's the way to an energy tank. And a special stage mini-boss that you don't see otherwise. This guy's not too bad. Just stick with the power adapter and he's done a couple hits. I love that part, that do 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 and then right back to it. I don't know. But yeah, remember, you can't slide, so let's speed things up here. I'm getting my stages confused. We might need the jet in a moment. But yeah, how could you talk crap about the stage design? It's been pretty awesome so far. Oh, here we go. This is the separation point between getting beat versus not getting him. Or his part. This guy's a lot of fun to fight, too. Yeah, I don't know, there's just something satisfying about that. The hover dodge followed by... With the lemons. Okay, we're good. Uh, where are we again? Silver Tomahawk. Even though, it should be Silver Mega Man, not brown. This guy jumps a lot, but he shouldn't be too bad. What does Yamato mean? Does it mean spear? His whole stage is supposed to be... Ooh, well, that was close. Japan. There's concept art in the museum database thing in this legacy collection that shows a really awesome, like, Japanese alleyway that's supposed to be the concept art for Yamato Man. Or Yamato, however you say it. Moving right along. The spear. The next guy's a joke. He's easily, especially with this weapon, He's like the easiest boss, but his stage is a little bit rough. Nightman. Capital of Science. Master of the Mace Ball. Well, all gotta be masters at something. Or a master of none. Uh, I learned. 
it might be worth your time to grab some lives when they're presented to you. I had a rough go of it in the fortress stages, but I'm practiced now. These guys I learned too. You gotta shoot them to wake them out of their little barrel thing. And then get them. The Yamato spear works in like one hit, but I don't wanna waste the ammo just yet. to it. You don't need the jet over this, it's just a big leap. Yeah! I like this stage, though. Very... I like the castle themes. It takes me back to other NES games, like the second stage of Time Lord, if you've ever played that by Rare. And Milton Bradley, I think, was also... I think they were the publisher. Oh, screw this mess. Doesn't look actually too hard, but... I don't know, it's such a cool feature. Obviously, Jet alone was, or Rush alone was awesome. But this definitely does add a little bit of gameplay, because you gotta remember, the NES had two buttons. And a D-pad. And start and select. Which are usually functional. Like, menu stuff. I don't know, I don't get the hate behind this game. I kind of wonder if it's one of those bandwagon things where people love 2 so much, and 3, for right reasons too, or good reasons I should say. Yeah, what the heck? I never saw that animation yet. On my first time through, I was getting them in one shot. Oh, I want that. Yeah. See, I haven't done so bad with the rewind. It kind of had a few spots, but... I don't know, man. It's like I've said since Mega Man 1. Well, this section's kind of crazy, too. I think the jet can manipulate it a little bit. But you gotta be careful. Because of that. Okay, we're good. Yeah, baby hops, baby presses. Again, it's that gameplay thing. What other Mega Man could you do that? And here's the secret entrance. But yeah, I think I'm at my happiest playing games like this. Just going back to the bare basics. The discovery days of renting NES games like Adventure Island and stuff, and just being fascinated with obtaining a new item or ally like a dinosaur or something. But yeah, look at this guy. He just jumps around all dainty like, and that's pretty much the gist of it. <laughs> yeah, that's the only thing is if you get cornered, it's kind of hard to. His mace might... Okay, good. I wasn't sure if I died. He's even easier than that. I was just... dumbly getting cornered. There's the Batman colors again. The color of the Batman. That was my favorite. As a kid. I think every single Mega Man has used that palette. Like, that's Hard Man's weapon color, I think. But Centaur Man, this guy makes no sense to me. Maybe I'm not up on my mythology. Ability unknown. Dry battery. And his stage is water-based. In mythology, are centaurs water creatures? Because I thought they were just, like, half-horse, half-man things. I didn't know there was water involved. <laughs> but there's one really cool section of this stage that I wish they utilized a little bit more. I just wait for him to blow up. Of 
But otherwise, it's, you know, your bubble crab, your chump, well, and your bubble man. Your jump is more affected by the water, so you gotta be careful about the spikes on the ceiling. It's the 4th of July right now, and the fireworks have mostly ended, so... I've been waiting so I could record this, because I don't want blowing up in the background. Oh, here we go, this is the unique thing. So keeping in mind the jump, you gotta use the ceiling water <laughs> to navigate like this. You could use the jet, but yeah, there you go. Gotta squeeze out those big jumps. I haven't taken a hit yet. That's good stuff. I like this music too, actually. I ranked it the worst. What? Because it kind of has that annoying 8-bit buzz to it without much else going on. But then that middle section has a very mellow feel to it. Oh yeah, this too. The annoying bling 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 bling. But yeah, that middle part's kind of soothing. This. This is a very easy-going Mega Man. Like Mega Man 2 and 3. Oh, crud, I thought... I probably could have if I started the jet later. Here we go. This is the beat doorway. You don't want to go down. And this will complete him. Which is actually useful for Wind Man stage. Uh... That's right. Night. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's the forgettability of stuff. That people hate on this. I love the green, though. 8-bit green is one of my favorite things. But yeah, if you want to you wanna get center screen. But yeah, that's the thing. He freezes you in place like Flash Man or... Yeah, I'm screwed. Man, there we go. Again, that could have been better. Yeah, obviously, he just explodes his little pellet on the wall, and then if you're center screen, you dodge it. But if he freezes you close to the wall, there's really nothing you can do. You get Sea Flash. And Beat is complete. So yeah, it's Crystal Flash or whatever the move is. That's the thing, as you progress down the Mega Man line of games, it gets both more creative and kind of just, like, what the heck? As opposed to, like, ice, fire, and, like, all the basics, you know? Massive happiness! Woo! Like the little noises. So let's get beat, because he's good. whistle him down and he takes care of anybody on screen but anybody he kills his little energy depletes ah. well okay I'll get this but yeah that's my whole thing the whole easygoing Mega Man concept that's the point in replaying these anytime you plug in the NES or emulate it or whatever it's just going back to a basic good time. And so for that, easygoing music is just fine. It doesn't have to be the most rocking thing ever. But then Mega Man 5 had like so much not really memorable about it musically. Except for maybe like one or two stages. So I think this is an improvement, like I said in the beginning. These are weird though. Oh wait, yeah. I didn't do this the first time. I might need to be on the platform. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. So... Baby hop! And there we go! Can't slide with the jetpack either. Oh yeah, we should have no problem beating this.
It's just so weird, because I, re I remember Jet Mega Man, and this stage's ability, I remember so clear as day, but I can't, for the life of me, seeing me in 1993 or 94, beating any stage of this game. Like, how did I figure that out as a kid? Oh, I'm out of beat. That's okay, he replenishes every new stage! Oh. I forgot about Chunks McGee up there. Oh well. They all have names, but... Woo! You never call things. Like, these are the big panda things. I don't know what their real name is. And probably most of the people in the world don't know what his real name is. But that makes you wonder, too. What if somebody intended for this panda to be a robot master? Like, they just have a drawing contest in-house, and then have a meeting and see, like, oh yeah, that's a boss character, or that's just a stage enemy. I'd be interested in, in being a fly in the wall in that kind of... All right, Centaur Man. This is the instance where there's an exact amount of ammo to defeat him, so you don't want to shoot it off too early. That sounds weird, but yeah, make sure he's done flashing before you fire the next round. Kind of a Gyro Man, Mega Man 5 thing there. I think he's supposed to be the game's hardest Maverick, but I did watch a video one time when I initially thought about recording this, and they went here first. And this is what baffles me even more, if he is the hardest Robot Master, but this is it. Windstorm, the gray palette and the tornado. That takes me back to some moment of my childhood. Like, that's the ability that I unlocked as a kid from renting this game. But I can't see myself having the ability to beat Windman as my first boss. Unless it was like, well no, because there's no saves on the NES. Unless I messed with the password screen and figured it out and just had it then, I don't know. But here we are, Mr. X. This music is very easy going too. Very Kirby's Adventure feel to it, too, with this space background. It's like World 7 Dreamland, just before d to d and stuff. Uh, you know what? This is why the game has them. nerve-wracking every time. There's more situations like it, too. Oh, here we go. This. You have to do such a baby hop on that platform switch, but that's... that leads to a whole bunch of power-ups, but I, I can't do it, I don't think. I tried my first time, and I was rewinding like crazy, and I really don't want to do that, so... We'll just go this way. I'm definitely gonna need beat in a minute. I don't think it's here. No, this... Just go! Whoa, that was rough. It looked rough. Here we go. Tomahawk or beat would be good in this situation. Another thing I want to do sometime soon... I recently found a thing where... Somebody hacked Metroid Zero Mission... And basically made Super Metroid, but with Zero Mission's bosses and items and stuff. 
and it's almost one for one. But I don't think it's possible to get it 100% complete because it still maintains the item percentage of zero mission. But yeah, it's pretty clever and I want to play it. I just gotta figure out how. That ladder over there is from the other path, the secret way. But this boss, I don't know his true weakness, but I think the power adapter is it. Oh crap, let's not mess up though. So he's going left. All right, now he's gonna come from the right. You just gotta dodge the bombs. Smack them, now they're switching. So dodge the bombs left, back to the right, and so on and so forth. This should kill the one of them. Yep. Oh, come on. All right, we still pulled it off. The fortress bosses of this one, they're not too rough, actually. I had a really tough time on one of them. But I have a new idea that I can't believe I didn't think of the first time through. It might be this stage, I can't remember the order. Aw, oh, these guys! They're so much easier in Mega Man X because they flip up as soon as you face backwards like a boo. Oh. Oh yeah! Let's fill up beat while we're here. This gimmick... ...is a little bit tricky. The floor that you can fall through. Anytime you see the yellow caution stuff... This is like, uh, Vile's Lab in Mega Man X3. Probably just slide across those, but... Oh, this might be the spot where you jet into the next screen. Oh, wait, no, not yet. Oh, yeah, here we go. That's your test one. So now they're going to start putting death traps down there. Enemies respawning, but should be alright. The screen was a little bit rough my first time too. Kinda wonder if fire would help. It's not what I was expecting to happen, but okay. I've been watching a lot of that, uh... Friendship Onion podcast. With Merry and Pippin from Lord of the Rings. And the last one that they put out... I think every Tuesday they put out a new one. But yeah, it was interesting. They were talking a lot about... This is obviously, uh, Billy Boyd is from Scotland, and Dom is from England, and they were talking about stuff that they miss now living in America. This is interesting to listen to. I guess pub culture is kind of a bigger thing over there. Oh, no, this is the Tomahawk guy, okay. This guy is theoretically pretty easy. Just stand towards the front of the screen and... You might have to jump and shoot. Yeah, that was a lot better than my first time. I was like right up in front of him the first time and the tomahawk trajectory kind of like doesn't work that way.
But yeah, it was also interesting just hearing what they do for fun in their free time. Oh, this way, this ladder leads to an E-tank, so might as well. You wouldn't think, because it's the easy ladder. Normally they put the goods down the hard path of stuff. I think Dom was talking about gardening. I forget what Billy said that he did a lot during like these pandemic times. But it's just interesting hearing about that. All these people who utilized the time stuck at home to like develop new hobbies and do all this stuff. And then I think back to myself, I'm like, yeah, I just kind of sat here. <laughs> Woo. Even just, like, their complexion of their skin. I'm like, man, they're healthy. Like, I'm not used to seeing that in the mirror every day. Oh, no! I should just take the death like a man, but... Time is a factor. this section, but it's giving me a bunch of crap right now. Is that an E-Tank? Had to have been. Overall, I'm doing, I mean, oh, I just rewinded, or would it be rewound? But I have more lives in E-Tanks than I did my first pass through, which I guess you would expect. Having practiced the game, you would get better. I don't even know if these platform sections are doable without the jet. Probably. I guess the whole point of this game, why would you pass on it? it? Does make you appreciate modern controllers with so many more buttons, though. Going back to these two button games, where you have to always bring up the menu just to do one little action. It's all good. Oh, this is the one that I lost a bunch of E-Tanks on. But I think you're supposed to just use the jet. I tanked it and got behind him last time, and I was trying to figure out his weakness. But I never once used the jet. Like, I'm more on... But yeah, look at... Well, if I time that better. It's only doing one thing, but... I'm fine with the strategy. Kind of looks like the mid-boss of Mega Man X3. Who is the big rhino guy in the caves? Drill rhino? Or tunnel rhino, that's what it is. Mr. X himself. Well, you know how these games play out. I think it was only the first one that went straight to Dr. Wily. Oh, this. You want to top off Silver Tomahawk because it is the final boss's weakness. And I don't know that there's many more chances to fill up your weapon energy unless you get a lucky drop. Final boss really isn't too tough, though. 
Although without the tomahawk, I guess I could see it being harder. I've got max energy tanks. At least I'm assuming nine is max. And there's another one right here. Yeah, something about this music kind of has that grape garden feel, going back to Kirby's Adventure. It's like kind of half sleepy, but you're just kind of chilling. I don't even need weapon energy right now. These seem to be energy resources. <laughs> Can't wait for Mega Man 8, actually. Just to hear that voice acting. We're singing a song. It like perfectly captures the like 6 p.m. feeling. You know, you just ate dinner, feeling kind of chunky. Feeling a little sleepy. But you're just trolleying along the clouds. Name another video that says trolley along the clouds. That's right! Unique, son. Or something. Do -do -do -do. That part's awesome. Get out of here, little dropping on bombs on me! Take the easy path and you get wrecked. Yeah, he's coming back. And I got more lemons for you. I like those twinkles, man. That, those are Kirby twinkles. Mm, yeah. Man, we're just. Having a field day over here. To get that E-Tank, you don't power push this thing. But I'm already maxed out anyway, so... Oh no. I think that blocks them from coming out. One would think. This is such a cool thing. I don't know, I just like jetpacking around. It kind of is like Kirby when you puff up and just are floating along. Maybe that's why people hate it. I don't know. This isn't Mega Man. You gotta be tough. I don't know. I can't remember what boss this is. Is this? Oh, this is Mr. Yeah, this guy, he just swings his little nuts around and you just gotta time it right. And watch out for the energy blast that divides on the floor. Baby hops and E-tanks are your friend when you screw up. Alright, let's get the rhythm. The rhythm is gonna get you. Falcon Punch! It always sounds to me like he says Falcon. Like a comb that you brush your hair with. Yeah, here we go. Look at that. That bounce back. Now get ready. The reveal you never would have guessed. My scheme for world domination has failed spelled wrong. But I still have enough power to destroy you. Eyebrows. <laughs> and the UFO. Let the final battle begin. It's not the final battle. We still got fortress stages. Imagine being a mad scientist with a crazy mustache and a hairdo. Thinking that dressing up as another guy with a crazy mustache and hairdo and wearing some sunglasses would disguise your identity. But that was the 90s and the 80s. Sunglasses and a hat. That's all you needed. Ninja Turtles did that. And a trench coat. And then you could go order a pizza even if you were a green turtle. And nobody questioned it. It was just how it was, and it was fantastic. 
this is the stage where you gotta be real jet ready. Aw, oh, crap, I might have ruined it. Yeah, I did. I don't have any jet energy. I'll take the death. It'll give me a chance to redo it. It's the manly thing to do. on this rewind. Plus, the rewind is too slow anyway. If you're not instant on that thing, it's, it's not even worth it. Well, yeah, you got a jetpack hover at the transition of one of those screens. I can't remember which one. And then off to the right, there's a secret passage that you need this power adapter for. And obviously it's like the goody path full of all the good stuff versus the dangers. Why did I say dangers like that? The dangers. The energy is gone. The one that was on the ledge. All right, let's just hover and hope. Oh, wow. That was too much hover. I lost it. It's to the right. Oh, I was almost there! There it is! That blue block! Takes me back to level 2 of Spider-Man and the Sinister Six on the NES. Which I played a crap ton as a kid, and almost beat. Oh, no. I like that reverse death sound. Oh, I almost did it again, man. That's, that's some rough maneuvering there. Call it cheating, but it's built in, and we're just having fun. I could definitely do this legitimately, though, if it was a proper NES and not the legacy thing. Honestly, I think 1 and 3 are really tough. And parts of 2, like the end stages of 2 can be brutal. Um, but yeah, they definitely got easier. Four, five, and six. A lot due to the yellow devil, I think. And other such crazy things. Is this the wind boss? Oh no, this is the Yamato Spear snake thing. I think this thing's name is like Mechazord or something like that. Maybe not Zord. Mechasaur. Like a dinosaur. I might need an E-Tank. Yeah, let's not risk it. Yeah, just spear him in the eyes. It's gotta be the eyes or the thing on his head, maybe? Nothing to it. That should probably be one that you could easily do no damage on. But some of us are terrible. I like all this creepy 8-bit boss stuff. Times were just simpler, you know? When you didn't question the oogity boogity cheesiness. What do the subtitles say for oogity boogity? Probably oh goody. I don't even know, boo something? Thank God that guy doesn't go through the ladder. Ah, wouldn't be Mega Man without these. Get your fire blast ready. I don't know what's on that ladder or how you get to it. You must be able to slide somehow. I would imagine there's some secrets that way. Oh yeah, now we're fire blasting. We gotta be careful though. Because the Mega Man thing, we gotta fight all the bosses again. Not that Blizzard man. I went into him with low ammo on that thing. But this is the screen. You want to jip? Pack. Yes, got it. First time through, I had to rewind because I saw that and I was like, hmm. You could probably float over there if you time it right. Oh, there's one down here anyway. See, there you go. That was an instance of the energy balancer. Didn't have to select what I wanted to refill. I don't know what it went to, though.
These guys almost look like they are... You could stand on them. But I tried that my first time, and yeah, you can't. Alright, Dr. Wily, is this stage... What stage are we on? This is the wind one. Finally, a chance to use the weapon I remember most from a kid somehow randomly. This guy is a joke. I do really like this weapon, though. It's more functional than Air Man. And obviously it's Flame Man's weakness, which we will actually get to test out now that we have it. And it's gonna be so fun, I can't wait. Whatever. I wonder if anybody's built their real house to look like an enemy fortress with like a big satellite on the side like that. it off. Oh yeah, the fan guys try to kill you here. Got it first try my first time, so hopefully. Oh, wait, not yet? Oh no, there they are. What the heck? I'm doing that thing where you predict the enemy paths, and for some reason you respond to exactly where they're going to be rather than like, how to beat it. I hate when that happens, because it takes a minute to get out of it. Oh, what the heck? Why? I know this will work. I should have just passed it up. I was just taking a beating, man. That was... That was rough going, is what that was. But it's all good. Still got plenty of stuff. Oh, here we go, the rematches. I don't know which capsule goes to which. I feel like they should just mimic this stage select screen. And they never do in any of the games. Uh, no wait, actually I do know the first one. The first one is Blizzard Man. The first one on the right. Yeah, I like these bosses too, I don't know. Cause some of those other ones, like 4 and 5, had some really stupid powers. This one, they're all functional. The Blizzard one's a little bit weird, the trajectory of it. But like, Mega Man 4 had Hard Man's Fist, which was so stupid and slow. I'm just guessing, I don't know who this is. Oh! Windstorm! Let's do it. Thank God they each drop a big energy at the end. Tomahawk is weak to plant. And there's like just enough to beat him too. Let's see if we're gonna have a better fight this time. Nope. Nope, definitely not. There we go, now we got a little bit of a rhythm. Them with them sitting right on you. Jeez. Not the best display of fighting these guys, but we're getting it done. What do we have here? Oh, yeah. So the night guy again. But, uh. What was I saying? 
the heck? Why did it spin in a circle like that? Oh yeah, so Hard Man, Top Man, his power was weird too. Well, that's Mega Man 3. But then Mega Man 5 had that stupid stone one. It was You had to use it on the train guy. Well, you were almost better off just using the buster because it was so weird. And here we go. We should be able to get our life back. And not need to waste another E-Tank. Because this guy's a joke. Now, hoping for him to jump. He just looks so dainty, holding his hand back like that. What do we have? Oh yeah, I like this guy. He's fun to fight. His music is awesome. Well, in his stage. Uh, Blizzard. Oh, it was too slow. He's changing it up! Not really, he's just choosing left versus right, and I'm expecting him to do the other. Okay, we got it. Who's left? Silver Tomahawk is strong against, uh, Yamato. I think it's a nice touch that all these bosses, their health bar matches their color. Are we about to die? What a waste when the stage is about to be over. Oh well, we got plenty to spare. That's it. It's Wily time, isn't it? Hey, you just cruise through in this game. I feel like three, there's so many bosses in Mega Man 3 in the fortresses. There's one last energy refill, you gotta hug the left wall. Might as well top off the tomahawk. Alright, we are good. can't remember. I think there's a couple things before the boss door. Yeah, these. We'll take this out with the buster. See how much slower it is compared to using the fire. But yeah, compared to those troublesome weapons, this game, it's pretty solid, dude. All around. Oh, thanks, Flip Top. Let's do it, final boss time. I think he has weaknesses besides the Tomahawk for his first phases, but the power adapter is fine enough. You just gotta get the timing down. Which I'm screwing up, all right. So he hops, smack him, I was too far away, dodge. Walk, smack him, dodge, walk, and so on and so forth. This is the harder one, you gotta get close. Because the scrolling works against you going to the right. So if you're not already walking, he's gonna squish you. But then the scrolling, it's almost like you have... It's almost like you're on a conveyor. There we go. That's only phase one, now you see his face, but it's still the same thing. Although, now the rhythm is weird. Okay, well, let's not be stupid, we have seven of these things. Nice music, too. Aw, oh, crap. Man, I lost it. Play it safe. He's so close to being done. There we go. Final phase. Silver Tomahawk. And then just... 
try to be as far. I found the left side of the screen to be favorable. Should be able to get two shots in before he fades. Wow, that's it. Okay, well there you go, that's Mega Man 6. <laughs> Definitely not the harder of the bunch. I don't think that's gonna hold him too well. Capcom Times, what a very punch-out thing. Triumphant at last. Notorious Dr. Wily. Oh, there was something before that that I missed. Sentenced to prison for his crimes. Dr. Wily now rules over a prison cell. What a redundant sentence. Dr. Wily B. Ainun. That's what the headline says. What a nice bundle of happiness that was. I like this too. There's a demonstration of all the bosses. I think because it was such a big deal with that contest. And it tells you who created them here, but a lot of them are Japanese. And I don't know the difference between, like, who's part of Capcom and who was just... See, designer. Who is that? They said it was... They took submissions from all over the world, and there's one English name in here. But I guess... I would have to read more about it, but I think maybe all of these were fan-created. Which is a really cool idea. I like the Sonic the Hedgehog 2 credits thing going on, where they take the melody out, change up the tempo, and then loop into the next track. It's not as good as Sonic 2, but I love that little technique for the credits. Noritsuga Kurokawa. Nightman, that's a very good design. I like him. He's got the robot feet. It's just... It's almost like so obvious. It's like, man, why didn't I think of that, you know? This might be the guy that was... Like, Daniel something? Unless that was Tomahawk Man. Yeah, Daniel Valley. I don't know where he's from. Plant Man's a really good idea, too. And then Axel the Red... Kind of did the same thing in uh, Mega Man X5, or Rose Red, I think is his non-Guns N' Roses name. I love that part, there's the drums. Who did Tomahawk Man? That's another really cool design. Like, it would just be nice to sit down with a blank pad and a bunch of colored pencils and draw up some Robot Masters. Wind Man. I mean, that's basically Air Man. Just a bit chunkier. But even now, with how many mans they've created, there's still plenty of ideas out there. They might repeat a little bit. Michael Leader. Okay, there's another. Somebody English. I, I'm definitely curious. I want to look that up right after this and see. Because there was like two prizes. There was the Dr. Wily and Dr. Light prizes for the contest. And they said everybody who got 32 names that got second place, the second prize, would be credited here at the end. And I don't think they did. Unless this is them. Maybe this is the 32. Because it doesn't say who these people are. It must be. I didn't count. Shin Kyung Bong. What a name. That's so cool that they did that, though. That that has to be the 32 people, because now here's Turkey 6... <laughs> I love these old games. Bambi? This game was developed by a turkey. Hyper Benji. And Hyper Mickey. Yeah, man, Mega Man's awesome. I, 
think Mega Man X was already around during this, so maybe that's another reason why this one got some crap. But I thoroughly enjoyed that. I think it's better than 4 and 5. Like, overall, I mean. This music is great. What, what a good... I'm glad I finally decided to get around to doing this. So now I gotta buy the Legacy Collection 2 and do 7, 8, 9, and 10. But thanks for watching, you guys. See you around.